All right, let's talk Patrick Mahomes going up against the Dolphins defense here. Still a home game for Mahomes, although if he wins, then most likely, unless there's a Bills loss, uh, he will have an away game. But let's talk about how he'll attack the Dolphins defense. I already made a video on the other side of the ball. Check that one out if you haven't already. But if not, you know, if that's not what you're interested in, we can, you know, these videos still work uh, whichever order you watch them. Uh, Let's talk about, you know, how this matchup could go. So we got to start off with this page right here, Kansas City versus Miami in terms of how they grade in specific positional categories according to PFF. You see that Mahomes' overall passing has not graded particularly well here PFF-wise. It's a little better if you factor in his running, but still, they haven't been overly crazy with Mahomes. And in fairness, PFF is always a bit lower on Mahomes than I think the general public is. I think that you could argue his play style because he can create those kind of explosives uh, that are just huge. Uh, That doesn't really get factored in as uh, highly as it should, in my opinion, PFF grade wise. So, uh, you know, I think he's always better. Like if he's 11th, he's probably like sixth, but still that's a down season for Mahomes. Um, Receiving maybe hasn't been as bad as some people would Think. Largely due to they are very high on Rasheed Rice, so him uh, and also obviously Kelsey are, which you know that factors in. Tight ends and running backs do factor in. Uh, those are you know two dominant players. The question is the third guy it might be Justin Watson. I don't know, but uh, you know it, it's not great uh, once you get into the depth there for sure. For Miami, you know, they've covered well, but it's worth mentioning it's been a lot better since Ramsey has come back, right? He missed kind of the first third of the season, so it's probably better than 14th as of right now. However, the flip side is their pass rush and run defense significantly worse because while, you know, for Kansas City, pass blocking has been still actively good this season. Uh, The tackles haven't been great, but interior is really good, Uh, you know, and tackles haven't been terrible pass blocking wise. Run blocking, they have both been very bad. Um, But in a game like this, can Miami, you know, how much can they, uh, how much can they attack that, right? Because Bradley Chubb, Jalen Phillips, two great edge rushers, both injured. Uh, Also, you know, Andrew Van Ginkle, who's had a really good season, he's been banged up now. So like, what do you do here? Uh, So maybe some potential to have the ball longer than Mahomes is used to in this one. If you look at their stats from the first time these two teams played, you notice Mahomes' overall passing stats were not spectacular, and just look at who they ended up throwing to. Only 185 yards. I mean, to me, the obvious one is, if you look at Kelsey's stats, just 14 yards in this game. They did a great job at, you know, not letting him really get going. Also worth mentioning, this is kind of before Rasheed Rice uh, was really kind of, as of right now, he's really their number one receiver. Uh, This is before uh, that became a thing, so that's kind of benefit in Kansas City's favor the second time around. Rasheed Rice still had a touchdown there, but, uh, you know, it wasn't a lot going great. But let's get into some film, and let's talk about, you know, what can go right and what can go wrong here for the Chiefs. Again, the, the Travis Kelsey of it all has to be mentioned. Um, they did a pretty good job at protecting uh, you know, themselves against a Kelsey offense in this one, as you saw with the numbers. Play like this. So, uh, you know, it's a blitz, and it's going to be the player who's actually lined up on Kelsey is going to be blitzing. So traditionally, kind of football 101, you throw it towards the blitz. Wherever the blitz comes from, you throw it there because there's probably not anyone in the area. You double it when it's Travis Kelsey, who's the guy who, you know, you could look towards. That's Kelsey's route. So, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, That's something that Mahomes is going to look at. Watch as when Mahomes takes the snap, he looks over towards Kelsey, and I lied. The route's to the other side. Uh, My bad there. But you see, uh, for Miami... This is actually Deshaun Elliott, who's reading this play very well. You know, you think, oh, like, sure, Javon Holland, he's the guy. No, this is Elliott here who's going to be reading this. And he just comes in and he makes the quick tackle. I mean, that's one-on-one. Like, part of it is Miami has good safeties, right? I mean, you know, uh, I brought up Javon Holland. You have Deshaun Elliott and even Brandon Jones. Uh, Like, those are guys who can play with Kelsey well. So maybe you'll get some one-on-ones. If you're a Chiefs fan, you're not going to get a lot. But maybe he'll get some one-on-ones. But even with that... They actually have some guys who can, you know, at least do a decent job at covering him. A play like this is really how Kansas City is probably going to want to attack the Dolphins defense. You have, uh, this actually isn't Kelsey. This is Noah Gray, the other tight end, running around trying to get into a gap in coverage. When this play begins, I do think Kelsey running underneath probably helped, you know, draw some attention that way. Although, again, that wasn't massively what happened. It was really just they were able to run a zone buster and get somebody open right here. So good stuff there by Kansas City. Mahomes makes this throw, and they're able to pick up a nice little chunk play right there. They were able to do that a little bit in the first game, but not a ton. Really, Miami did do a pretty good job at covering up that stuff as well. So there wasn't a lot 
constantly open. Again, keep in mind, Kansas City only had 14 points in this game. They had seven defensive points, and then they had two other touchdowns. Now it's kind of it. Like, something like this, I mean, again, they tried to get Kelsey the ball, and to be honest, I almost feel like going into this, this just isn't something you should really try, of like a, you know, Kelsey screen pass. A lot of times when they do this, it hasn't worked out, and especially, again, this is the third down and 10, and they're trying to run a screen pass to Travis Kelsey. That's kind of kind of crazy, really. Watch as Kelsey starts off blocking, he eventually looks out, and I mean, okay, again, I can see why you'd want to make this throw, but as you see, Miami's just not going to lose that way. They had that mindset the first time. We're not going to lose in this way. And I have to imagine when they play again, they're going to have a very similar mindset, right? So for Kansas City, it's going to be the other guys. And again, the emergence of Rasheed Rice, to me, that's where they're going to have to attack. Going over here, I brought up Justin Watson, uh, who, you know, he might be their third guy here. He's kind of being their number one guy. Third down and 10, deep shot, hopefully going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup down the field. You see Mahomes is going to take the snap. He's going to eventually look in that direction. He fires in that direction. And right here, okay, yeah, there's a little bit of a window for this. But this is going to take a great throw and a great catch. And Kansas City just isn't able to do it. I mean, the reality is Miami does cover pretty well. I, they, they they do. So, like, you know, that uh, that was Xavier Howard, who I don't think is their best corner or anything. But, like, you know, he was able to—he can cover, uh, you know, Justin Watson, right? So— you're in a bit of a tough spot here uh, for Kansas City. It is going to be a little bit difficult for them to move the ball offensively. I still think they'll get their plays. Mahomes can work some Mahomes magic. And I do think that, you know, the other guys stepping up, at times they will. So final predictions page here for Kansas City. Uh, overall, their defensive points per drive, uh, or excuse me, Miami's defensive points per drive is 1.99, whereas Kansas City's offensive points per drive is still a respectable 2.09. That's not terrible. It's just not what we're used to seeing from Kansas City. First time, it was just 1.56. And quite frankly, I don't know why it's going to be that much better. I think you're going to assume just naturally it'll be a little bit better. But I am going to go with just 1.8 points per drive in this game. That feels about right to me. I know that that might seem a little low, but it's just given how this first game went and given how the Chiefs have been playing as of late, I do think there are some teams that they could beat up. I just don't think the Dolphins are one of them. I think this is a bad matchup. So my final score prediction then with the points per drive, if it's a 12 drive game, is Dolphins 25, Chiefs 22. I do predict the Miami Dolphins to upset the Kansas City Chiefs in this one, which I don't know if that's a massive hot take. I'm assuming it's at least a bit of a hot take. Uh, most people I'm assuming are going to be predicting the Dolphins uh, to lose. But again, these are two teams that I think are evenly matched. I'm predicting just a three-point game. I do think it could go either way. Uh, and, you know, they are two teams that have won the same amount of games this season. And when they first played, I kind of thought Miami outplayed Kansas City. They just made a couple of big mistakes, which, again, could happen again. And for Kansas City, that might be part of your game plan. Hey, Let's just not make the big mistakes. Miami could make a mistake or two. Let's not put the ball in harm's way. I would not be shocked at all if this game goes either way. I am slightly leaning towards Miami, though. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.